All right, so um, here we want to look at two more um, rules, uh, very important ones. So rule number five says that if I have a function which is the product of two functions, all right, f of x times g of x, then to find the derivative of this, right, h prime of x, what you do is that you leave one of the functions and then find the derivative of this, and then plus you leave the other one and find the derivative of this. So here you leave f of x, this guy, and then find the derivative of g plus. Now you leave g and find the derivative of f. So f prime of x, and then I leave g of x. All right, the order doesn't matter. We could have found the derivative of this f first, multiply by g, and then plus leave f and multiply by the derivative of g. So this is the this is the product rule. Okay, very very important. You come across it a lot. So suppose that um, suppose that you have a function. Let's call the function. F. We can use f of x. Let f of x be equal to let's say x squared into two minus x cubed. Okay, so you have a function multiplying by another function. So you can apply the product rule here. The alternative, of course, is that you can expand this and then for each of them, find the derivative using the um, power rule, right? Okay, so we just want to show how you apply the product rule to that. So for this, f prime of x would be equal to, I can leave this guy out, x squared, then I find the derivative of what is in here. The derivative of the constant is zero, so this is zero. But the derivative of this, I'm going to get negative 3, then x raised to the power 2. Right? The derivative of this is 0. Then this, I bring the 3, and I subtract 1. That gives me this. So I left this and found the derivative of this. Plus, so now, I'm going to leave this and find the derivative of that. The derivative of this is 2x raised to the power 1, right? Then I multiply by 2 minus x cubed. So really, that is the derivative. The rest is that you can simplify it uh, whichever way you want, right? So you can rewrite this as if you like negative 3 x squared times x squared is x to the power 4 plus this other expression. You can simplify this if you want. This time this is 4x minus this time this is 2x to the power 4, right? I can combine this and that, and that gives me negative 5 x to the power 4 plus 4x. So f prime of x is equal to that. Okay? So that is how you apply the product rule. Again, I could have started by finding the derivative of this and leaving this, and then later I leave this and I find the derivative of that. Okay? Good. We'll do some more examples how we apply this. Um, for now, we're just illustrating this rule. So, the next rule we want to look at is the quotient rule. We'll look at the quotient rule, rule number six. Suppose your function is f of x over g of x. Okay? Now here, the order in which you do things is very important. So h prime, the derivative of h is equal to, the quotient rule says that you bring, you leave this guy, g of x, and find the derivative of this, f prime. Minus, you leave f of x, multiply by the derivative of g all over this guy's square g of x all of this square okay so this is the quotient rule 
Again, the order is important because over here what you have is minus. Okay, so this is, I take this up here, I leave it, I find the derivative of this. Minus, then I leave this, I find the derivative of g and divide by this square, the numerator, the denominator square. All right, so that is the uh, quotient rule. So for example, if I have, let's, let's start with a simple one. Suppose f of x, our function f of x is equal to 2 over x. Right? It's a quotient, 2 over this. So f is a constant function, and my g is x. So it's easy. So f prime, the, by the quotient rule, f prime of x will be equal to, I'm going to leave x, then I find the derivative of 2. The derivative of a constant is zero. So this multiplies by zero minus, right? Then I need two. Then I multiply by the derivative of x, which is one, all over x squared. You see that? x times zero is zero. So this just gives me negative two times one, which is negative two all over x squared. So that gives me the, um, the derivative of f, right? If my f of x is 2 over x, then this is what I get, all right? Okay, so I'm going to do um, one more example of this uh, using the quotient, using the quotient rule. So we have Suppose that, um, let's take another one, f of x. Let f of x be equal to 3x minus 1 only over 4x plus 3. This is a quotient as well. Okay? So, f prime of x will be equal to, I'm going to take this guy up here and leave it, 4x plus 3. Then I multiply by the derivative dx of this, the top one, 3x minus 1. Minus, I'm going to leave this guy, 3x minus 1, and find the derivative of the denominator, 4x plus 3, all over 4x plus 3 of squared. See? The rule says, leave this guy, find the derivative of the top, minus, right, leave the top, find the derivative of the bottom, all over the denominator, all squared. So this is equal to 4x plus 3. The derivative of 3x minus 1. 1 is a constant, so this equals 0. Derivative of 3x will just be 3, right? You can use the power rule on this. X is the same as x to the power 1. Okay? So forget about the 3. So you get it that 1 x to the power 1 minus 1 is 0. So 1 times x to the power 0. x to the power 0 is 1. So you have 1. Alright? So you just have 3 here. Okay? Good. So you have 3 minus they have 3 x minus 1 multiplied by if you differentiate 4 x plus 3 you just need to get 4 all over 4x plus 3 all squared. All right? So the rest is simplification. You just simplify the expression the way you want it. So now, to, to simplify, you just need to multiply this out. This time, that is 12x. This and this gives me 9. This and that gives me negative 12x. Negative, negative is positive 4 all over 4x plus 3 squared, right? Good. So watch this, 12x cancels out negative 12x. 9 plus 4 gives me 13. So I'm going to have 13 all over 4x plus 3 everything squared.
Okay, so that is how you apply their, um, their product and the quotient rules. All right, so we'll look at a few more examples on this uh, later on. And we'll look at some special derivatives that you need to be um, aware of.